was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I I was always the one to find myself lost in long conversations. Oh, 'cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong. I was so mistaken. 'Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you. You're making me wanna try forever, and I feel so free. Oh my sweet baby. Hello everyone, Liliana from Vanilla and Canela here. Welcome back to my channel to another video. I hope you're all doing well. I am here today, Wednesday, with Ozzy. It's just watching some cartoons so I could come and do this intro. I tried to do it with him, but as you could see, he distracts me quite often with his cuteness. So anyway, I have a Tesco's delivery coming today. I know you've just seen one in my previous video, but that was actually last week's. We have a lot of entertaining, not a lot, but a bit, and I needed to stock up on some essentials. So here we are. I will show you that delivery. We are currently got the dryer on and there will be some more uh, clothes being washed. And yeah, it's a miserable day. Let me show you. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights. Searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky's okay, let's stop here. Down. I've already put the frozen stuff away, but I'll show you in a minute. With meats, I've got some mince, some diced beef, and some chicken livers. We tried last week uh, lamb liver. I did not like it anywhere near as much as chicken livers. And this week I'm going to try and do a Nando's. If you've had a, ever had the livers at Nando's, I'm going to try and do a little rip off of it, if you wish. I also got um, some sliced roasted beef and some ham. These are always like two for three pounds some mashed potato this mashed potato you guys is absolutely delicious so if like me you hate making mash um i also got a spinach and ricotta tortellini and then dairy stuff i got milk got double cream um it's not dairy well it contains hmm, does it probably does contain dairy but there's some coleslaw two things of butter i'm actually going to try and make some ghee um, I saw a recipe for the Thermomix and it seems pretty easy. I might regret this, but yeah, I'm going to try and make some. Some yogurt, the honey one, some mild cheddar, it's a big block. Looks like 400 grams, yeah. Some feta, two things of yogurts for Aussie. These are like with uh, non, not, no added sugar, sorry contains naturally occurring sugars so anyway i got two i think they're different flavors uh yes apple and pear and strawberry banana um then fruit and veg got some of these courgettes sorry i got two mangoes because they were 59p each two heads of cauliflower these were also 59p each Chestnut mushrooms, I think that was a pound. Some baby corn, some celery sticks. These were 50p for all of these sticks. Usually I just buy the, the head, but it was actually cheaper. Uh, some grapes, some potatoes, and some bananas. Then on this side, I had to do 
all of this by myself. Usually Paul, as you know, puts it all out for me, but there you go. I shall soldier on. Bread-wise, I got some brioche. Both the boys love that. Some naan bread, because I'm going to make some curry. I'll show you that in a minute. There's some hot dog rolls for hot dogs. Some tortilla wraps just for, you know, sandwiches or wraps. I also have some bagels here. And then I got, one of you guys recommended the Hungry Elephant brand. And I tried last time the Korma. Um, so this time I thought I would go for the butter chicken. Oh, it's slightly higher than mild. Um, hopefully we cannot handle spice, you know, hot spice in this house. So, but yeah, hopefully that will be really, really lovely. I also got some of this Piri Piri rub, garlic. I'm going to use this on the livers. I think that's going to be amazing. But yeah, got some of those. I've never tried that before. And there's some pot baked baguettes as always. Two things of oat drink for Paul in the back there party rings and uh, Rice crispy Squares. That was a pound and that was 85p. Um, the oat drinks are a pound as well. Got some Passata, that's like 35p. I also picked up some of these. We've never tried these before. Probably pants, but we'll see. Four baked beans. There's always an offer for four for 130, I think it is. So. 130 maybe uh, on Tesco so I got those and I also got three canned sweet corn because again it was also an offer for a certain price I got the Bon Mama strawberry conserve two pounds which was on offer now I usually get as well the Tesco's Tesco's uh, finest strawberry jam that is delicious as well so, got some queen olives pitted. I prefer them not to be pitted because they taste a lot better, but it's what they had. We are obsessed with this Pyrenees, the mild one. Two things of hot dogs, then 99p each. Two things of snacker jacks. I think they were on offer for a pound each. Usually they're more expensive. The caramel version. Got five kilos of sugar. It's not what I wanted, but it was the only sugar. They didn't have any kilo bags or even half a kilo. Everything was out of stock. So I just got five kilos. Be interesting to store that once it's open. Uh, some chocolate digestives. Two things of frosted flakes. I also got some of this whole grain spicy Mexican inspired rice. I think this will be similar to the spiced rice you can get in Nando's. And Paul loves it. I don't think much of it, but Paul loves it. So I thought I've got that to go with a Nando's meal. Two bags, whoops, of flour. This was 45p for one and a half kilos each. And we got in the back two ready salted from Tesco's, you guys. So... Tesco's brand is finally coming back. Then on this side, baby food. I got some spag bowl for Ozzy. Lots of Tesco's branded. Usually, I can only find this one. Hence why I don't buy it very often. But they also had apple and mango. So I just got a combination. I think I've got like 10 of those. And then I got some vegetable ones as well. There. There. For those days when we're having like hot dogs, um, I can supplement, make sure he's getting what he needs, if you know what I mean. And then I went a bit wild on drinks, which I usually don't, but I got some um, fizzy water, which is one of my favorite things to drink. I also got some lemonade and then I got Diet Coke and what I thought was full fat Coke but it's actually zero sugar. I don't actually understand what the difference is between these two, but whatever. So um, yeah, like I said, we're gonna have a lot of people, not a lot, but we're gonna have guests and we want options, but yeah. So that's that. Uh, 
we also got some rocket lollies which i've already put in the freezer let me just put the light on so it's not so dark let me show you what else i got i literally just shoved it in here i got some garden peas uh some garlic garlic bread two baguettes and some frozen chicken oh and i got a little fish pie i love those uh, so yeah that's what i got and i didn't bring it in here because it's the point wipes nappies toilet paper it's a lot later it's just after lunch i've put most of the stuff away got some leftovers in here from yesterday uh, yeah yogurts got the cold meats and so these are the cold meats that are open in here i have all the dairy like cheese and butter all that kind of stuff leftover fruit in these two unopened cold meats vegetables these are the broccoli there's the liver i actually froze most of the other meat not most of it apart from the liver i froze the mince and the cubed beef as well um, I haven't actually got any space to put our canned drinks at the moment because of the uh, the milk. Once this one is over, you know, we'll be able to swap some stuff around. Put some of the veg all in here, ready to go. Excuse the, uh, the washing machine is just finishing up. Then I've just washed the grapes, so I'll put those away in a minute. We've had lunch, got some stuff there, but put everything away. I There is something so rewarding, so makes me feel so good inside to have a stocked pantry. I feel so blessed, so, so blessed. So that's all done. Ozzy's still asleep. Um, like I said, we had lunch, Paul and I. I actually had that fish pie. Let me just put my slippers on. Usually I tidy up the toast, but I didn't even have time. And Ozzy's going to be up in a minute. So I'm going to put all of this in the washing machine, the dishwasher even. And then I'm going to fold some clothes. And when I'm folding some clothes, we're going to have a little chat. I hope you can hear me all right. I know that in the background, there's that. Oz is just having a snack. And I thought I would come over, do some of this laundry and have a little chat to you. So a couple of you men, men's, mentioned in my last video um, how Paul and I are feeling about what is going on. I'm going to try not to say names of countries because I don't want my video to get banned or anything like that. But I think there isn't a soul in the world that doesn't know what is going on in Europe right now. So you asked how Paul was feeling. If you don't know, if you're new here, this is your first time seeing me. Um, my husband, is um, he serves in the military in the UK. Uh, he's in the RAF, so how we are feeling about it or um, how he is feeling. Um, obviously, I will never discuss anything to do with where he's at or what he's doing, mainly because I don't know. They won't tell me, he won't tell me anything. No one would tell me or the wives don't get to know anything of what is going on anyway, if they've got access to any other information. As you can imagine, you know, be careful for security reasons and all that. He would never share anything like that with me anyway. But um, from um, a personal point of view, we're outraged very much like every other person in the world is, um, uh, and worried for what will happen if certain person's not stopped, okay? So that's where we're at. We are 
very much constantly have the news on in the evening, mainly because we don't want to worry Alex too much. He has, he knows what's going on, roughly. He's also been, um, at the school also spoke to him about it. So he has an idea of what is going on. Um, and actually, I thought you guys would like to know, we spoke to him, we decided as a family to donate some of the items that the people um, countries are needing to help and um, these are things like toothbrushes and sanitary pro products and um, wipes and nappies all that kind of stuff okay um, and we found someone well um, uh, what, what do you call it? Uh, an organization locally who's taking donations so we decided uh, Paul and I that we were going to donate some things I'm gonna at some point either today or tomorrow go to B&M take the list with me and buy a load of stuff to donate in an effort to help it won't we can't afford to um to do a lot but we'll do a little bit and in the hopes that it will help so we asked alex if you don't know this and um, why would you anyway but alex gets an allowance every month and um, he gets 10 pounds a month uh, which he has a little account that um, i control he doesn't have access to it at all there is no cards it's like a little savings account off my main account um, and every month I transfer £10 into that and basically because now all he wants is games or if he wants something special um, it's never like a little bag of sweets or, or a toy as such you know he's getting to that age it's almost nine that it's more about the electronic stuff and even if he does want things like books or things like that we always buy them online therefore what we do is if he says mum I want to buy this book I'll say fine it's four pounds fifty and um, we I'll take it out of your account and I transfer it into my main account and I do do it you know even if it is just four pounds fifty because i think it's really important for him to learn from a very young age the importance of handling money and um yeah so he's been saving bless him and um, he was saving for a um an xbox which he got for christmas and um, if you followed me for a while you know that so in saving for that he really started to appreciate just how much money it takes to buy things because obviously an xbox is not cheap and we basically said to him you've got to save for like three years to get an xbox in the end we got an xbox second hand it was 50 quid um but um yeah so he's become very aware and whenever he says oh i want a new game for my xbox i said well it's this much um you can um, if you buy it that will be all of your money gone um you know so anyway all of this to say he has his own money so this morning i asked him i explained what me and his dad were going to do to help and i asked him if he would like to contribute some of his money um to help with, you know, buying toothbrushes and all the basic stuff. Um, and it was really interesting because he didn't realize, you know, as a child wouldn't, that they wouldn't have access to those things, you know, that, you know, it's very hard for a child to understand what it's really like. So anyway, when he realized, um, when I explained, he said yes he would love to give up his month one of his you know like 10 pounds basically so this month's allowance um 
to to help so I was really touched uh, that he understands you know and for him he's been saving he's got like 50 60 pounds I think it is very mind he buys games and things like that but he's been saving for a long time and whenever you're like do you really want this he weighs it out is it you pressing give me that give me the remote you monkey you're a monkey aren't you <laughs> you muted it <clears throat> so a lot of the times he'll say no I don't want it that's too expensive so he's starting to understand that you know money um, it takes a lot to get money so anyway and by the way he gets that allowance but he has some chores he has to put tidy up his own toys tidy up his brother's toys every night or every lunchtime at the weekends as well, um, which he really hates. But you know, you can't just give him the money for no reason. But at the same time, he's a child, so we're not gonna make him clean the house for it, if you know what I mean. So, anyway, all of this to say that he is gonna contribute. And as a mum, I'm so proud. He said, It's the least I can do, which warmed my heart. You can hear that noise, that's the washing machine. So at some point I'm gonna to go to BM, like I said, and I think he might come along with me, Alex that is. Um, so he can be involved and I think that's really important. What do you think? I hope you guys are not um too worried. You know, it's hard not to get worried when you don't know what the hell is going on, but um, fingers crossed. It, I have to admit that it's been beautiful to see the world, literally the world, come together to try and sort out this lunatic. This lunatic. So yeah, that's where I stand on that. Um, that's it. I folded my laundry. Thank you for keeping me company. I am thinking because I've been talking now for 10 minutes that I might end this video here and get it published for you today. So this is how I look today and you're going to see me today, which usually, you know, I record in advance, but that's not the case. And there's that little monkey over there. <laughs> Everything's done, you guys. I've got another load still to do, but you know, thank you for watching. It's have to. Let's see if I can get it done for you. It probably won't be up by three, but soon. So, try you guys.